According to a study released in 2005, Denver residents give $4.6 million to panhandlers each year. Although the amount seems generous, the city of Denver is urging residents to stop handing out money. The big question lies, are these people legitimately homeless, or are they professional panhandlers who might be pulling a scam? Hi, I'm Bobby Butler. They call me BB the Turtle Man. This is my uncle Bilbo. I call him Bilbo Baggins, his name's William Good. He's one of my brothers named Alan. He's a, he's a Lakota Indian. Me, I've been doing the street things and without the couch serving thing uh, about three, three or four years. Come on, how about a cigarette? Not a... Ah, uh, that's about it for me for a little while. It's too early to be drinking. Sometimes we rent a motel. Sometimes we just sleep outside. That's how we survive. That's how we survive. What you see on us is pretty much what we got. I'm happy in the point, yeah I am. I'm happy to be with my friends, my brothers, and my sisters. That's Broadway the turtle right there. You kind of be like, try to be civil a little about, about the corners. You know, about the corners, you know, it's like. Yeah, but there's a code of ethics. Sometimes some people will come up and say, that's my corner, I want it. And you go, okay, go ahead and take it, or else you fight over it. I got, I got like eight spots, and I just start it, start here, and. If somebody's got that one, I go next one. If somebody's got yeah. that one, I go next one. I've seen people come back around the block to help us. They'll come back. $100 hits, I've gotten five. I got a $100 bill on that corner up there. You ever go fishing? Yeah. Some days you do good, some days you do bad. Here, what you do is you save a cow and you drink a beer. <laughs> we choose to donate money based on our perspectives of how much they really need it. Beggars know this and put an incentive on their part to exaggerate their need by either lying or putting on an act. By giving to panhandlers versus charity, we're acting to relieve our guilt rather than to solve the underlying crisis of poverty. We tried just regular signs and it didn't work, so we had to make up a sign to get it to work. Mm -hmm. We tried just uh, need money for rooms, need money for food, and then once we found out our stomachs were getting bigger, then we tried this and we started getting money. My name is Courtney. I do this for a living, and today is my birthday. I've been out here for the last year. Fun is this one. They're all pretty much the same, but... I try to make enough to go get a motel room because I sleep out here on the street. Some days are better than other days, and that's the way it goes. They give us food, they give us, uh, like, the McDonald's uh, coupons. I've got McDonald's cards. It's hard out here. I want to I wanna get back on my feet and get life. I'm getting documented. This lady right here is a good lady. <laughs> Such a sweetheart, she helps everybody. Authorities say that if drivers stopped giving to beggars on street corners, panhandling would die down. Many of these beggars aren't even homeless. Rather, they belong to a community of street people who have made a career out of 